Hello guys and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. I'm going to go ahead and generate a game apart for the last game we made, which is of, King, uh, of King Castles. We got a 6, which was the lowest game we've had uh, so far. It's only been the first part though, so do you know what? We're not doing that badly, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, get some research points, and I'm going to go ahead and go straight into making another game, I think. Medieval and RPG is a great combination. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Okay. So apparently, uh, engines ain't important in RPGs. It's debatable, but sure. Okay, so topic. Let's go with... Do you know what? I think we may have to research um, a new topic here. Fashion, military, fantasy, pirate. Um, do I have um, target audience yet? I'm going to get fashion. Just because it gets out of the way, plus... If I do have target audience, I'd like to make this, like, for young people, I guess. And then set it on, like, a Game Boy or something like that. We'll see. See how well that does. Alright, so, develop a new game. I don't have that yet. Okay, fair enough. Fashion. Yeah, fashion simulator, surely. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and go with the G64, I think, for this one, and we're going to call this hmm. Say Yes to the Dress. And, you know, just copy off a TV show. Let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, engine, gameplay, and stories and quest. Story is not important for a simulator. Gameplay is kind of important, I guess. And engines, I assume, is pretty important for a simulation game. So we'll go ahead and go with that for now, I think. Okay, artificial intelligence. Whoop. Dialogues, eh. Level design. Dialogue might be a little bit important for a fashion game. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, let's give it a try. I'm not entirely sure I'm sold on this idea, but you know what? I need to come up with some suggestions, right? Because uh, I have to give it a go. Indicate how important. Yeah, I know. Alright, so sound's kind of important, apparently. Well designed is not very important. Graphics, however, kind of is. So, I'll tell you what, move that down a bit. Move graphics up. Because I assume graphics is important for a fashion game, right? Because you need to see what the dresses look like. I see no flaw in that logic. That seems right. So, we're going to wait for a little bit. See if we can get a bit of polish. There we go. Okay, so we leveled everything up. And we'll go ahead and release that, I think. So, while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and find some contract work. I'll go ahead and do that. Our first review of our newly released game, say yes to the dress gaming. Uh, uh, six. Six. I mean, six is, six is okay. Seven? Yeah. That's a bit better. Okay, that's, eh, it's average. But you know what, we'll at least get our money back, I think, if you manage to get sixes, so... I can live with that, that's fine. Now, if I quickly go and check to see a suggestion that I got, and I'm going to go ahead and add that to the, uh, to the list here. I'm actually literally going to the comment section now to find, uh, what it was. Okay, so, the next one here I'm going to make, I'm going to generate a game up first. There we go. So I think we're doing okay for money here. It actually seemed to sell pretty well. Considering it didn't get that good scores, that's actually not too bad. Fashion simulation is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important. Okay. Alright, so we're going to develop a new game, and we are going to go, actually... 
I have sci-fi, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, we're gonna create our first game engine, I think. It's time to invest. So go ahead and do that. Because somebody suggested a game that I should do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and invest and get a whole game engine before I actually do it. So let's hope this game works out. So this game was by JK, uh, Jacob Buffington. So thank you very much for it. Okay, so our first custom engine, we're going to get all of this. And we're going to call this the... Hmm. We're going to go ahead and call this the Buffington engine, because it'll be the first engine that we do. Now, we are one a bit uh, short on money here, but I like to think that this will sell well enough that we'll get that money back, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. We need to share the increased variety of gaming devices. Okay. So I believe that, yeah, target audience. Okay. We want to get that as soon as we can, I think. Okay, so let's develop a new game. Let's go ahead and make a sci-fi uh, adventure for the for the PC. Mm. For the G64. Uh, let's use the buffeting engine and let's go with... The only reason why I'm going to use the G64 is because it's got a bigger market share right now. Uh, obviously that will change, but I think for now we'll go with that. And I think he has called this... Now he's called this the Wars of Trekking Through Space, however I don't think that'll fit. So, instead I'm going to put the Wars... I'm going to do it exactly how he spelled it too. The Wars of Trekking. He didn't put a P there. There you go. The Wars of Trekking. So let's go with that. Uh, we will use the version 2 graphics I think. So we're kind of going a bit all in here, but I feel like, you know, this is going to be worth doing. So engine is not that important for a adventure game, so we'll get rid of that. Stories and quests, of course, is. Gameplay is important, but not overly important. So we'll, uh, we'll put that at about there, and I think that'll work out pretty well. I have good feelings about this game, I think. AI level design and uh, dialogue. Well, I feel like dialogue is pretty important, so... I feel like level design is quite important too, so... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Level design, max priority, and then dialogue, and then artificial intelligence. I think that'll work out. Following the mass success of the term... Yeah. Because level design, it's a sci-fi, right? So it needs to look immersive, I guess. World design, whoop, sound, eh, eh. graphics. Do you know what? I think we'll midpoint graphics and sound here, and we'll just uh, put a lot into uh, world design. Okay, so let's get rid of the bugs. Wait for a little while so we get a little bit of polish on it. Mm, anything? Nope. Okay. Okay, so that's a double new record. It's also a new combo, so that's fine. So, let's go ahead and release that game. Apparently I'm really hungry for my stomach's on, but... Our first review is the new release game, The Wars of Trekking, came in. Okay, there's a 9. That is not a bad start at all. Okay, that's an 8. That's a 9? Yeah, that's another 9. Another 9. Okay, so that, yeah, that sold really well. We're going to make tons of money off that one, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and generate a game report. I'll then maybe research something else, and then we'll see what we go. Um, I probably will move to a console. Do I want to move to the Vena? Mm, maybe. Consoles are kind of uncharted territory for me, but we'll see. We'll see what happens.
sound seems to be not very important for this type of game, really? Mm. I figured it would have helped with like immersiveness, but hey, I guess I guess I was wrong. Okay, so should I get more research? Yeah, we need target audience, I think. Plus if I can get one more research point, I'd also like to get um maybe mono sound. We'll see. According to our market research, the recently published game there was a tracking supply set with players. The developer Wallet White Gaming has found the game in the shape of that way. Okay, cool. That's fine. We have successfully researched target audience. Okay, good. Right, in that case, because we need one more research point, I'm probably just going to do a little bit more contract work, something easy, that one. We should get that without any problems, so that's fine. Okay, good. And then we'll go ahead and research game tutorials, mono sound. Um, let's get mono sound. Doors are tracking that self. 40,000 units gathering 285,818 cells. Okay, good. Today, the, uh, the Master V by Vino has been released. I am considering moving to that. We'll see. I'll give it a try. Yeah, I successfully researched mono sound. Okay, good. Do I want to create a new engine for that? For the Vina? Yeah, all it really gives me is mono sound, though. No, not yet. So, let's develop a new game. Let's make it for the Vina. So, I do think I'll buy the... Uh, Licensing costs for that. I don't want to test the Vena. I mean, the test gives me more share, <laughs> and it's going to last longer. I kind of like the Vena though. Ah, we'll get the test. Why not? Okay, so topic. Let's go for a medieval RPG. Uh, yeah, we want to use the test. We want to use the Buffington engine. Medieval RPG will be for everyone and we'll call it Kingdom mm, Actually Hmm It's called Silver Dawn that way you can make it what that that way you can you can make it out to be whatever you want it to be. That's fine. Okay, so engine isn't that important for an RPG. Gameplay is stories and quests is also pretty important too. Put the gameplay down a little bit. So we'll go with that, I think. Not very well market enough now, but we'll flourish another parts of the world. That is very true as far as I'm aware. Level design for an RPG is kind of important. AI is kind of important too. Dialogues, uh, dialogue for an RPG though, that's really important. Um, mm. Let's go with that. I'm not sure if it's if that's totally right, but I'm pretty sure that's... I think that's okay. Okay, world design, graphics, and sound. World design needs to be all the way up. Graphics needs to be pretty high up too. Sound is not particularly important. So we'll go with that, I think. And hopefully this will uh, sell pretty well, because we're actually getting pretty low on money here. So it does look like it's getting a lot of points, though. But we'll see. Okay, got a little bit of shine, got an extra technology point. And uh, let's go ahead and release that, I think. Let's do some contract work just to stay afloat a little bit. Just do some of the easier stuff, I think. Mm, okay, that's an eight. That's fine. Another eight. I think this is going to be straight eights across the board, I think. Yep, I think so. Oh, this one might be a seven, though. 
yeah, that one's a seven. But still, it did sell pretty well. So I'm always gonna be happy with that. That's fine. Oh, am I gonna miss this one? Oh, ah, I'm gonna miss it. Ah, I'm not gonna get that one. Oh well. Twenty-six k. Okay, so our money's back up now, so that's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and research uh, game tutorials now. I really very positive reviews. Okay, that's cool. I'm all about becoming a fan favourite, I think. New research available, casual games. Oh. Tempting. Interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so I think we'll do one more game. Actually, we might do two more games today. We'll see. So let's get another one. Let's set this one to Vampire. Let's set it to Mature. Ah, it's going to be another RPG though, isn't it? Uh... Not yet. Let's get a virtual pet simulator. Let's do it for young ages and call it. Glitter Kitty. Let's go ahead and call it Glitter Kitty Deluxe. I think everybody would want that game. I think that's, I think that's very good. Okay, engine apparently is pretty important. Story and quest is not important at all for virtual pet simulator. Gameplay is again, it's not particularly important. Put it in about midway, I think. I've got good feelings about this one too. I think this is gonna be good. Okay, dialogues AI is really important to simulator. Dialogue not so much, level design not so much either. So let's go ahead and do it that way. Silver Dawn is now off the market. It sold 44,245 units, generating 309,747 in sales, which is perfectly fine. Okay, sound is apparently it's important, which, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, apparently sound's quite important, so let's go with that. So, I think that's about fine. Obviously, the game would be a lot easier if I had like the tips and stuff, but obviously I disabled that because that'd make it too easy. So, what are we going to do with the hardware? The vendor was announced it was introducing a portable gaming device called GameLink. I probably won't be going to handhelds. We'll see. I may change my mind, but at least for now, I don't think I will. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given the lower cost, next portability. Okay. Cool. Wow, I've got a lot of bugs on that game. Getting a lot of points though from squashing these bugs. One more maybe? No? Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's a new topic, it's a new combo, which is fine. 2D graphics is now leveled up. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and release it. It's got good feelings about this, I think. Um, I need one more research point to get casual games. Let's go ahead and we. I'm going to try to keep on top of the research because usually it starts stacking and it becomes hard to like make a perfect gaming engine. So. I'm going to try to get all my research points uh, as quickly as possible. Our first review is for our new loose game. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Our first new loose game. Glitter Kitty Deluxe came in. Okay, seven. Seven's fine, you know, six. Six upwards is okay, because at least you make your money back, so. Another seven. I get an eight here. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that's all. That's all fine. Plus we have a decent amount of fans now, and that's really helping uh, the sales come along, so that's fine. Today, the new platform game link for Nintendo. Thank you for taking care of us. Okay. We're actually making a decent amount of money now. Now, I think... I'm going to go ahead and research uh, casual games. And then I think... Where am I? Nearly 20 minutes in. I'll do one more game, I think. Because now I can do an RPG, and this is the one I like to think is going to be the uh, the big money maker. It's one that I usually do on this game, and it's one that I plan on uh, 
doing a lot of RPG. You can do RPGs on the test. Of course you can. Like you got Zelda and all kinds of stuff, right? So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll call this Kindred Fire. Because that's what I've always called the vampire RPG games, and they always seem to get like nine plus, like at least nines. So I'm all for that. Gameplay stories and quests. Gameplay pretty high, not too high. I think that's that's pretty fair. Okay, AI is not that important. Level design is. Dialogue is kind of important. I think we'll go with that, I think. Okay, world design, graphics and sound. World design, put that up. Put sound down. Do we go with that? I think that's fine. I think that'll work. Click in also 31,087 units, generating 217,640 point sales. Okay, cool. Companies develop a game for mature audience, give an interview. Yeah, sure. We'll get some hype, which means we'll get better sales, so I'm all for that. We've grown, intre we've grown interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Cool. Alright, so we've now, we can now get marketing, which I think costs like 40 research points, so it might take a little while, but we'll give it a try. Planet GT... Planet, oh yeah, Planet GG was recently published. Was recently published? What am I talking about? I don't know what's going on today. You can tell I just got up. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Walter White Gaming. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. x one of CEO at Walter White Gaming said, We think the players are looking for more mature content than games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Okay, cool. Many attempts, uh, yeah. Ah, that's fine. Okay, so we got a lot of hype too, so this if this game does well, we're going to make uh, quite a lot of money. This game didn't seem to cost us a lot either. Alright, a little bit of polish. It's a new topic, it's a new combo. So let's go ahead and release it, see what we managed to get here. The first reviews for our new Louise game, Kindred Fire, came in. Huh. Not great. Not, not exactly what I was hoping for. We did get an 8. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty bang average. Um, clearly, I haven't, like, I haven't got, like, the bars and that set correctly yet. Obviously, if I had my tool tip, it'd be a lot easier, but obviously I've disabled it. Vampire and RPG is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important. Platform, genre match, the RPG and test is okay. Mature, te oh, mature games don't work on the tests. Oh, course are done. I'm bad, never mind. That was a stupid mistake by me. I should have known that. If you have all the more money in cash, we'll be able to move to the next level. We're nowhere near that yet. The Vena Gear, I love this console. Unfortunately, it didn't sell very well. Mainly because the battery packs are huge and it, the batteries didn't last five minutes on them. But I had one of those. They were cool. Okay, so I'm just going to stack up research here with all these game reports. Okay, whoa. Oh, that's game history. I was going to say, have we not already generated all these game reports? Right. Stop pressing the one button. Okay, so marketing's 40. So I'm going to go ahead and do the contract work before I end this, just so I can uh, get that 40 research. Yes, that's a plan, but I'm not getting any research. Vena Gear by Vena has been released. Okay, cool. I'm not going to invest in that, I don't think, because it's not going to last very long. Ah, oh, Willy, two? Alright, that's fine. Mm. Do I want to create another custom engine? Not really. Not yet. Yeah, do library software again. That's a lot of technology, though. I think we might... Did we fail this last time? I can't remember.
Come on. Mm. Actually, we might get it. Yeah, we're going to get it. There we go. Alright, cool. Plus, that gives us exactly 40. We can now research marketing. So, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. So, thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching, guys.